All right, so this here is a uh, little informative uh, video on how to make an adapter for your vacuum line on the back of a Holley 600 uh, carburetor. Um, back of the Holley 600 carburetor has a, a main vacuum port that goes uh, is designated for the uh, vacuum booster for the brakes and we're putting this carburetor on a 1998-99 Chevy half ton 5.7 Vortec which from the factory has a brake booster hose that's about 9 sixteenths of an inch ID so that that hose is uh, it fits extremely loose over the uh, 3 8 vacuum port that sticks out of the back of the carburetor. So what we're doing is we're building a step down adapter so that it, it uh, converts the 3 8 to roughly 9 16 This fits right into the hose that's factory on the truck. It goes to the vacuum brake booster, and it's got a bend in it, almost 90, almost 45, uh, almost 90 degrees, because that's going to help it kind of turn away from the back of the truck. This points straight towards the back of the truck, and then this will start the curve over so that the hose doesn't have to kink or anything like that. Um, this here is. 3 8 What we've done is we've taken a half inch um, piece of copper pipe, copper tubing. Um, this outer diameter is about almost 9 16 It fits right into the hose that we need to use on the truck. It goes to the brake booster. What we've done is we've sliced with a uh, die grinder with a thin thin blade on the on the die die grinder you could also potentially use a hacksaw okay and what you do is you slice it both sides um, and then you use some smooth jaw pliers like maybe some needle nose pliers that's what I use some needle nose pliers you can use some smooth jaw nipex pliers or something like that uh, and would you just gradually pinch it down so that it remains round and uh, the sides basically meet up okay it's a really tight fit and all that is is a straight cut from a die grinder that had a a kerf of about a little bit more than a sixteenth of an inch or so and then after pinching this down it just you know meets up perfectly leaves a uh, almost an invisible hairline right there on this side I've already soldered it and uh, that's going to be a airtight fit for vacuum you know so you're not going to have to worry about any leaks um, all I'm getting ready to do now is solder this side and then the vacuum hose is going to fit over that end right here it's going to stick out about another inch that part is going to go into the tube that's on the back of the carburetor so the two tubes will meet up very close you know right in the middle there and the hose is just going to join the two then this is going to shoot off towards the brake booster and the hose that comes off the brake booster is gonna is gonna uh, fit over this part right here, maybe with a little clamp or something like that. And that's your adapter to uh, change the size of the hose without too much trouble. Thanks for watching.